guys, we're doing a first drive today. It's a little different than our normal first drive. Uh, today we just finished this Range Rover Classic, so we're taking it out for the first drive so that we can get a feel for it and see what we like, we don't like, things we need to improve on, things we want to work on in our uh, QC inspection, and also myself in uh, my own inspection. We're gonna be, this one's a little bit different of a, a style of truck than our normal Defender. This one has a lot more trim, a lot more plush options, uh, being that it's a different model than our usual. Um, but same style of drivetrain, LS3. Uh, this one, which they don't normally come with, it has a uh, dual exhaust on it. So we're listening to it and making sure that everything sounds good in it, make sure the cabin's quiet like it's supposed to be because these are inherently quieter than the normal vehicles. This being a Range Rover Classic, this is a, an older model, this is a 91. It's a, what we call a hard dash. This one has you know, the usual creature comforts, but a lot of improvements on our part. I'm taking it out right now just to feel how it is, and I've already heard a few little creaks and, and cracks, which just takes a little bit of massaging with these style of vehicles. Uh, I've also heard a little bit of suspension noise, and the brakes feel pretty good compared to uh, a non-ABS vehicle. This one's actually, you know, has good pedal feel, but the brakes still need to be bed in, so they do make a little bit of noise. But I'm, I'm listening for everything. I'm listening for wind noise in this one. Um, this being a quieter vehicle than the Defender, it, uh, we just try to listen. To, we try to listen to all the, the doors. We listen to the windows just to make sure that everything remains sealed, nice and tight. And also, I'm hearing just a little bit of noise coming through the drivetrain, which most likely is just because of it being so new and we need to take a look underneath it. Um, this one's had a fresh rebuild on all the axles, brand new LS3 power plant, transmission, which is a big upgrade from the original. It's had custom paint job and a fully redone interior. Um, we've done, gone with a digital gauge setup in it, um, which still needs calibration, but that's something that I look for when I take this first drive. I also listen to the, the seats, so the sunroof, and just overall go through the vehicle, make sure that everything's functioning the way it's supposed to. I touch all the buttons and the switches. This one has had uh, extensive work done on the seats, so I'm gonna check, go through and check all the functions of the seats, make sure they work because they are fully electric. And I also run through my, my, my lighting, my stereo, my air conditioning, and I just, you know, give it a once over, make sure that during a drive it's operating like it's supposed to. Alright guys, I'm, I'm going to uh, take it from there, I'm going to take it out, I'm going to push it a little bit and see what it does. See you guys next time.